Secret lives! The man cannot be stopped. It was a close one. It was a close victory. But after Secret's unit got involved, they started busting some heads because they're a pretty strong unit. And then the routing began, and that was pretty much all she wrote. So there's another Willsey attack repelled. Hopefully, we won't see too many more of them. Killed him in battle. Oh, we've had a disease outbreak of smallpox. Wonderful. And rebellion imminent. So there's smallpox in Brandenburg. That is not good. Obviously. I think there's a recorded moment where smallpox was a good thing. We've beaten down their armies quite a bit though, with the Willsey. So I've decided I'm going to try and get peace with the Willsey because they're in a pretty good place to kind of cushion me from Charlemagne at the moment. They've got these two little provinces here, so they're controlling this, which puts a gap between me and Charlemagne. So they're pretty much covering me from the south for these couple of provinces that I have in the middle. So I'm going to try and get peace with them. I'm going to pay them within reason whatever they want to get peace, because I think this war was a mistake and I've wasted far too much time and money on it. And I really need to go and do some damage to England so I can get rid of the damn trait. Restless warriors. Everything else down here is pretty much fine. The Oberdrites are okay with me. Charlemagne hasn't done anything to me yet, but I am still very cautious of him. Spare my so let's go ahead and try to get this. Let's see what the maximum is. So I've only got six grand on me. So six grand, that'll be a high. There's a high, well, they definitely will do it. Let's go a bit lower. Four grand moderate. So I'm just going to lower it until I reach low. Because I don't even know what the point of low is. Because there's never a chance that they'll take it. I've never seen low accepted. So there we go. That's the lowest I'll go. Let's put it up one. And we'll have a go. On moderate. Hopefully. Nope. Projected. Okay. Let's raise it. One above what it just was. Nope. Still rejected. We'll try again. We'll keep heightening it until they accept it within reason, as I say. I don't want to give them six grand. I can't give them all my money. Uh, okay, this is probably going to be the last one. Can't give them more than four grand. Okay, there we go. Four grand to get rid of the Willsey. The war is over. And our relations with them are even improving. Looking at it, there's not much they have against us other than the attacks. So now that we're not attacking each other, we should maybe even become friends. Dare I say it. So there we go. Peace with the Willsey. South secured. Now we can start to focus on Britain. Raid the crap out of it. Maybe take it over. We'll see what happens. Although if Charlemagne starts to make moves on me or anyone around me, then that may change plans. But I'm just really conscious of uh, restless warriors. Because if I get rid of this, things will be so much easier. But I'm not completely sure how long left I have. So let's try and find it. There we go. Sack five settlements. I've got that many turns left. 22 turns. Okay. That's more than enough, I think. We could raise an army. Sail over there. Sack a couple more places. I think I've done three already. So we only need two more. But I think I've made the age-old mistake here in the southern part of expanding too quickly and thus my public order is all over the place and now we've got smallpox it's going to be even worse so there's going to be a rebellion coming out of Brandenburg I'm going to lose a few units so that I can save some money and put it towards making the army to go to Britain I'm looking for the least ranked up units so these are all two, two tier bronze Yes. Um, so let's raise an army. Uh, what am I doing? 
Where's up? Oh, get myself confused. Right, Goodfred. Aha. Our son and heir. What better man to raise a new army and to raid England? Ready for orders. Warriors all. So he doesn't need a large force. I don't want to spend too much money on it. So I'm just going to go with a bunch of spearmen just for numbers sake. And then maybe a couple of better attacking units. Just some herdmen because they're quite well armoured. Some archers for the range and some crappy axemen. That should do. Good for it just arriving on the coast. I'm going to check out London and some lower places. They're definitely too well defended for me to attack. That's not happening. Let's go back up to York and all that stuff. And see if they're undefended. I'm not entirely sure if I have to sack five different settlements or five, or whether it matters if they're the same ones that I sacked earlier or not. But I'm just going to sack these ones and see what happens. It needs to be a really quick in and out jobby. That's what she said. So we can, so we don't get attacked basically because I'm still at war with Northumbria and Mercia. So they could attack me at any point by land or sea. So I have to be careful. And of course, there are rebels coming out of Brandenburg. We'll quell them early so they don't turn into a considerable force. Oh, somehow they've managed to survive us. Even though there's only four units, we are a bit depleted though. We live for battle. We dream of it. Are you we joking me? You absolute news. bastards. And you look Fucking Wilsey. After I just paid them four grand have declared war on me. And they just called me fat. What is this? Are you taking the absolute piss? My god. My goodness, what a bunch of apps! What did they just do? They were doing something in Magdeburg and then they went away. Hmm. I don't have anyone in Magdeburg. I've got someone nearby. Wow, I can't believe that. I just gave them four grand as well. And then they use it to come... I'm going to wipe them from the face of history, I tell you. Oh, I can't believe that. So annoying. It's just kind of nonsense that makes me hate the campaign stuff, like... Four grand, I just thought I got that out of the way. I thought it was over. I thought I could concentrate on new things. But no, they want to come back for some more. I'm going to absolutely... I've just sent my army off to England as well, so I don't have the money to raise more forces back home. Well, let's get on this raiding anyway. Let's see. There doesn't seem to be anyone there. What about York? Lincoln, York, Strion Charles. Those two aren't defended either. At least there's no one in the towns. There could be someone right next to them. So it's going to be a risky game to jump out, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to wait in the boat, though, till I can get out on the next turn, because I won't have enough to move otherwise. Looks like Northumbria are making some moves. Stopped on them. Oh, they've attacked me by sea. What? They've sent their king to attack me by sea, even though he's vastly outnumbered. And is probably going to die. <laughs> Alright. I'll just kill your king then in the sea. This is going to hurt us quite a bit though. It's going to ruin our raiding party. We might have to get some mercenaries. Uh, Alright. Fine. I'll kill your king then. We'll play protective to try and conserve our troops. Down you go. King of Northumbria. Thanks for making that easy. That should send fear of the Northmen through the English world. The Wilsey didn't attack me on that turn, thankfully. There's a rebellion in Wilsey once again, though, of course. Whoop de doo. I'm just checking we did kill their king. I guess so. Get a little crown on him. Seems a bit bizarre that they'd throw their king into such peril. But like I said, the AI aren't the smartest tools in the box. Let's get rid of these rebels again. See, this is turning into... Oh, they've gone all the way around there. This is turning into a vicious circle. Because there's smallpox still there, every time I quell rebels and it gets better, it goes straight back up again and the public order goes down, rather. That sounded really confusing. You know what I mean. A vicious circle. It's a vicious circle of pain and annoyance. Okay. Everything's fine up top still. That's good. Okay, let's jump out on land up here. Start to make our move. 
There's no one here. Oh god. I'm not even in with a good chance. We have more men. They have fresher men, but they also have arrow towers, so this is gonna be a risky one. If this fails, the whole raid's pretty much gonna be a bust. I'm gonna go for it though. I think why not? Screw it. I'm not even gonna fight it. I'll just uh, I think I'll go... Probably going to have to go aggressive, because they're probably going to have the ranged advantage with the towers. Oh, we pulled it off. Yes. There's one sacking done. So hopefully just one more. I'm going to have to definitely get mercenaries now, though, because uh, my forces are utterly destroyed. We can even do it this turn, actually. That's handy. Let's grab all the mercenaries we can. We've got the money, too. Yeah, I guess. Why not? It's kind of expensive, but... Just grab them for a couple of turns. There we go. That's more like the bar I want to see. Aggressive again. Bam. And that should be five settlements. Sacked. And it's still there. Why is it still there? Maybe I have to wait till the next turn. I guess we shall have to wait and see. For now, we need to get the hell out of here. Because there are going to be large armies... Of Northumbrian men coming to wreck our shit. So we're gonna get the hell out. Why it doesn't just let you jump straight in the boats? It's quite stupid. Anyway, so we've sacked these two. I'm hoping that's all. I've got plenty of money now from that sacking, which is awesome. Five settlements. See, it doesn't say different settlements, so I'm gonna assume they don't have to be different ones, but it's not gone, so maybe they do. So I have yet another bunch of rebels to deal with. Wonderful. And the Willsey are back again. So they've even sent their High King into this battle. They sent quite a few garrisons, but we're still built to win it, even with a considerably smaller force. Wow. So yeah, they've sent their King in, Darko. So this could be it. This could be the one. This could be the battle where we end this with all of them, because if we kill their High King then their grudge with us will probably disappear along with him. So we've got a lot of riding on this one. We need to get this guy dead. They have a lot more men than us though. But that seems to be the way. It's always the way. It looks like we're fighting on that same map yet again. But this time it's our trusted General Bjorn who's fighting this one, so no Siegfried. So we'll see what Bjorn can do. He's been doing alright for himself so far. So it's his map again. So for the sake of not being boring and having you watch the same battle over and over again where I just sit at the top and defend. I'm going to try and do this a little bit differently. They've got a random small army down there. They're going to have other reinforcements as well. Um, okay, I don't think there's any way they can get in from that side, so they're going to have to walk all the way around anyway. So I could put a barricade there to slow them down. Or I could put one maybe here. But I think I'd like to keep that tower going. I think I'm going to put one over here. I'll put some, maybe my javelin men up on there. And they can destroy anyone who comes that way. Be on guard. That looks good. We'll give someone to help defend them for when they break through the barricade. Some herdmen, always a good choice. Actually, I might put some axemen with them. Maybe someone who's less, less of a useful unit. Because they can just hold them there while I send someone good over. We'll see how it goes. See how many men come from that direction. Put some spears over there as well so they don't get attacked in the back because they do have some horses. So I'm going to protect on all sides. I'll put some axes over there anyway. I don't think I'll need them. Got another tower over there, so that's going to be a good damage dealer. I do want to try and keep the arrow tower standing though this one at the front. I want to keep this standing as long as possible because this will deal a good amount of damage if we can just hold them there fighting, especially if they're stood right underneath it. The arrows won't have very far to travel. Get some archers back there. Hurt them on the way in. Let's get the general up a bit. So I'm going to try and hold them at the arrow tower for as much as possible. They're probably going to come in and attack this lot, but that's okay. You can kind of just wedge them in their own little section. 
If they need help, I'll send it over from the other side. If anything, we might actually be able to attack people in the back if they engage one or the other. We'll see how it plays out. So I started the battle just so they get on their way in, because I'm pretty much set. Everything else I can do while I wait for them to get here. So it's just going to be a case of see where they go, because there's a few different ways they could come into the town. A couple of obvious ones, of course. So they have these reinforcing axemen coming in from the south. These javelin men, I'm going to take them off fire at will so I can time it to get the most amount of damage. I don't want them hurling the miles and missing. So if I wait till they're nice and close, they can also... Oh, these ones are starting to get close. Shall prepare for the first wave. Got a herdman and shield wall, of course. In they come. These arrow towers are a big part of my strategy here. That's why I want to keep them standing, because they do a hell of a lot of damage to unarmored units, which is what most of these guys are. Here they come. Took some missiles there as well, which was nice. And it begins. So they should hold pretty well. I'll move the axemen in to help out in a minute because there is quite a lot of men coming. They've got some axes coming towards the middle as well. Got these boys, I should get them a bit closer to the fight. Let's get these axes in to help out the herdmen. So they're sending axes over, so I better get my axes up because those spears aren't going to do too well against these axes, even if they are just slav tribesmen. Some cavalry have just gone past my skirmishers. The skirmishers are taking fire, apparently. Not sure who from, maybe the skirmishers. They're horses. They're taking the tower. How are they taking the tower? They shall not take the tower. Go and put a load more men on the tower, quick. I need that tower to stand. I'm going to wait for these axemen to get right around the corner of these buildings and then get my javelins to just open up on them. And hopefully we can do maximum damage. Hopefully wipe out a unit or two. They've got some horses just peeking around. Here they come. Let's do it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. That'll do. So these javelins are going to open up now. Hopefully do a hell of a lot of damage. Oh yeah, they're dropping. They are dropping. These lowly armoured axemen. Oh, is this one unit going to make it to the barricade? It's not looking good for them. Ooh, they've made it just some of their other axes are going around one of them's routing that's good that's fine let's see what else is going on they're sending some axes around the other way okay this is going to be an opportunity to get into their rear so many innuendos to be had playing total war so they've sent more axes up to the barricade now they've got some annoying missiles i'm going to fire on them I'm going to get these spears to route round because I don't think they're going to catch. Well done. Let's try and flank them. We need these missiles. Oh, we've cleared up over here already. That's good. We've routed all the units up there, so we'll come away from there. That should be fine now. Come and hit these boys in the back. That should get rid of them. Nice and swift. <laughs> they, they, those axemen routed like instantly. Weird. So they're kind of attacking a bit willy-nilly at the moment. Oh, my javelin men are fighting. Let's not do that. Get them back. They can fight the uh, axe men instead. In their trusty shield wall. I better concentrate the charge there. I don't think it quite came off. Get stuck in now. Heads are rolling. The enemy has laid an ambush. 
What's going on over here? Oh, that guy went flying. Come on, son, get into him. Oh. <laughs> you went flying as well. I think I need to give my boy some stability training. I'm just falling over like that. Oh, they are archers. Okay, that might be worth. Let's get some actual melee units into those axes. <laughs> That's not good. Whoa, my spears have run all the way out here. What are you doing, you nutters? Oh, he's chasing those horses. I forgot about them. Whoops. Okay. We're losing over here. Those are the crappy axemen. Let's get the javelin men in there. We might as well. They've got no javelins left, so... Not really at a loss. Hopefully we can save those missiles. Okay. Let's get some people over here to help. Because it is getting a bit thicker over here. There's still a lot of them coming in. They've got a steady stream of reinforcements coming in. The gen generals in the distance. They're raining down arrows. That's not helping. Oh, they're taking my tower. No. Uh, I need someone with more life. Right, you just go over there. You boys. Send the general in as well. It's time for, time for Bjorn to get some action, I think. I like to get my generals a bit of killing time. I don't want to treat my general like a princess and just keep him hidden away for the whole battle. You have to put your general in there sometimes. He has to get some respect. Here we go. Let's do some charging. With our mighty Dane axes. Someone got thoroughly decapitated there. Okay, good. Hopefully we can save the tower. I'm not sure we will actually. They pushed us a little bit far back. That's fine. We'll pull them back. We lost the tower. That's okay. I think it's done enough damage at this point. We've got lots of men left. We're going to try and get into this blob. It's mostly spearmen, so we should chop through it pretty quick. So I think as long as we can repel that attack, they still do have quite a lot, they've got some, uh, quite a bit of cavalry coming in. Everything seems to be fine on this side now, everyone's routing, missiles are doing some damage. They've got some missiles coming in, let's uh, get into them. Actually I'll tell you what, let's get the javelin men chasing them down. They're probably just going to chase them and they're going to run away, but that's fine, that means they're not going to be doing damage to my main troops. So I let my javelin men chase them off to the end of the earth. Axe men are fighting them, so it's just blobbing up now. Let's try and flank round a little bit. I'll try war cry on these boys. Reduce their morale, see if we can scare them off. With the power of Bjorn's mighty ginger beard. Let's put them around the side. They're sending some melee cavalry in now. I really should try and get some spears over there, actually. I still have a lot of range with ammo. Which will kind of go into waste. We can start to move everyone to flank that whole blob. Flank the blob! Flank the blob! <laughs> that is a, that's a proper military strategy, that. Flank the blob. Okay, so we've got into the side of them. We are consuming the blob. I get worse and worse, I swear. These, I don't even know what that means, but it sounds wrong. They, why have you stopped? Keep chasing them! Javelin men just stood there taking arrows to the face. Chase them down. Okay, there doesn't seem to be any troops coming from that way now. It's all over here, so let's get into the action. Oh, they've chosen different routes. We are raining some arrows in there, which is nice. Okay, so we've got some hope going that way. We'll send the send the spears after them for now. Arrow men just rain on the horses or anyone. Just hit anyone in the blob. Things are looking good. Bring these boys over. I mean, while they are all blobbed up, all oh, their generals here now. Darko's here. Oh, Darko is dead already. He's fallen in about two seconds. What a bitch! Get down, Darko. Their king is dead. We finally killed the Wilsey King. It's about time. 
I'm glad about that. I'm sure it wasn't. Maybe it was Bjorn. He's probably a bit far away, but that would have been good. Let's take the slaughter. Ooh, nice arrow volley there. Took out some horses. We've consumed the blob on all sides now, pretty much. Bar one, maybe. We've got three points of attack on it. And they are routing. Their High King's fallen. They have nothing to fight for anymore. Go home. Actually, I'm not going to let you go home. For what you did to me, you treacherous dogs. Took my foreground and then attacked me anyway. Their general unit is actually quite strong. It's slowly taking down my axes. I should probably try and attack it from another side. What are you doing? Oh yeah, they're chasing us. <laughs> I've got some spearmen way out in the field. Chasing down missiles. Why the hell not? Um... Some other random spears. I should get them into the horses. I'm going to need them. Possibly. If they don't all rout first. The blob is thinning. Who's? Someone's been taking the victory point, apparently. There's no one there now, seemingly. I'll put someone up there just in case. That would be embarrassing. There we go. They're starting to fall, although... Our forces are thinning as well. Bjorn's still doing really well. His unit hasn't really lost anyone. They are a strong-ass unit. Let's get some spears into the horses. And that should be all she wrote. Everyone's exhausted. It's been a long battle. No one at the victory point. He's going down though, apparently. Weird. So we're just tidying up now. Clean up the rest of the mobs. Slowly but surely. The javelin men are coming back. They want some more. Not quite sure why. Let's get Bjorn out of there. I think he's done enough. I don't want him to die. Our ambush troops have been detected. Oh, the javelin men! <laughs> they finally caught up to those missiles and they've routed them. They don't look too scared, they're just walking away. There we go, victory! Another defence. Bjorn has won a mighty victory. So that was cool, I enjoyed that battle. We finally got to kill the Wilsey High King. So with that, I'm hoping they're going to want peace because they've got nothing left for us. They've got to have realised that by now. They've got nothing left.